Hi, I'm Dylan with Mastercam. Programming and cutting custom thread shapes has traditionally presented several challenges to the programmer. Methods like 4-axis milling paths or custom posts were common solutions to produce parts with this kind of feature. With the introduction of the custom thread toolpath in Mastercam 2021, we can easily program and simulate custom thread profiles with turning tooling. Let's take a look. Here we have a cable guide part with a unique multiple start thread profile located in a collet on our subspindle. On level three, I've drawn the thread profile that we'll use to drive the custom thread path. On the toolpaths tab, I'll launch custom thread. Toolpath creation and control is all done through the custom thread panel on the left hand side of the screen. This allows us to retain full control over the graphics window while going through the toolpath parameters. The panel guides us through each incremental step in creating the toolpath. As with any other toolpath, we could edit or add tools right from within this panel, but that's not necessary for this example. Instead, we'll start by selecting this button grooving tool that's already set up for the subspindle. Next, we'll define all parameters necessary for the machine configuration. We'll start by making sure we're using the upper right axis combination. Then, we'll set the tool angle to 90 degrees and tool orientation to 180 degrees. This will properly set how the tool is located in the head relative to the part. We can skip ahead right to the shape tab to define our actual thread shape. In Mastercam 2021, we support two ways of defining the thread shape, parametrically or from a chain. With parametric selected, we have a shape type dropdown and then we have rows of parameters to define the shape from. If we knew the values for the parameters of the custom thread shape, we could simply enter them here. For this part, we were only provided with the CAD model, so we'll use chain as our shape type. We'll use the geometry on level three to define the thread shape. For the pitch, we'll enter 8.636 millimeters. This value comes from the extents of the thread profile geometry that's already created. In the next panel tab, we'll enable roughing and set the step over to be 20% of the tool width. The cut depth will be a constant 0.6 millimeters and the maximum first pass step down will be 0.2 millimeters. Moving on to finishing path parameters, we'll set the step to 0.1 millimeters and the cut depth to 0.5 millimeters. The next tab, basic motion control, will set up the extent of the thread and the acceleration clearance or run up to the thread that we allow for the machine. We'll leave this set to automatic, but this may need to change depending on your machine. This will also affect thread clocking in verify and machine simulation.